So you got all this? Good. By the way, I d really don't know if the music was supposed to cut out. So that's us, by the way. Nice close up, man. Yes, yes, thanks for the cliches. And with that, we start Amnios. But first of course, since this is an old game from the Amiga, we have to swap discs and then wait while the game is loading. So, what is this Amnios? Well, it's a shoot em up, obviously, or I wouldn't have posted it, as it in this thread. And it's something, yeah. That's the best I could uh, can come up, uh, come up with. It's something, definitely something. I found this game while searching for something completely different, something I faintly, re faintly remembered from my childhood, but instead I found this. Amnios is a shoot em up that's neither horizontal nor vertical, instead it controls a lot like asteroids, so you can move in four directions. Well, like in a horizontal game I suppose, but uh, well, you'll see. First, please enjoy the authentic Amiga loading time, thanks to me disabling the turbo function on my emulator. Also, I was really smart and didn't find the auto fire function well before this first video was over and... Oh, it, it starts. This is the title. Yes, Psygnosis, like that weird old game. Designed by Pete Lyon and Paul Freven. And if I type O for options, I can look them up. Easy stuff. The question is, of course, what exactly are the options? And how long do I want to stare at this uh, screen? Graphics, Pete. Yeah, just Pete. Well, we can redefine the keyboard or we can enter a password and th that's it. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of options really. So now let's start. Yeah, loading again. And. Then this happens, yeah, exactly, we we'll spawn right inside enemies and at this point I was mm, a bit confused, you could say. All this shit happening and I watched us just started boom, blindly firing and exploding. As you can see on the left, there is a picture of our spaceship and if that's gone, then well, we disappear too. So, this is Amnios. If you press forward, you will you accelerate. If you go press backward, you will break. And left and right, move your ship around. So like asteroids, in essence. And uh, you may notice I have already died a few times here. Um, So, as far as I can tell, you're supposed to just shoot everything, including the weird faces on the ground. Really nice is sometimes the stuff on the ground is underground and you can just fly over it, and sometimes it's not. 
how do you notice the difference? Well, if your life bar starts disappearing, then you'll know. So while I'm hurtling around here trying to destroy everything I can see, um, remember the story? We're supposed to be some kind of uh, creature made by a galactic alliance then sent uh, to the galactic center with our fancy spaceship to destroy something called the Oncoblock. Uh, Oncoblock. Oncoblock, yeah. And this menace is some kind of plague or pest infesting planets and turning them into this weird hive shit with monsters blooming everywhere. And we are supposed to defeat the Onko block before this Hydeos menace can reach the worlds of the aliens. And that's the story really. You do this weird thing with your super spaceship and your biotechnology advanced and whatever that you can add on in terms of fancy adjectives and well just kill everything. On the right side we have this nice little radar which doesn't actually help us that much because well everything that moves has to be destroyed and that's it. And on the left side up we have this number. I first thought this must be the score. Then I noticed the number going down when I'm firing at some weirdly invincible mouth like this. And while I'm hammering ma my fire button like mad, because remember, no auto fire, uh, I started to think hey, maybe it's the life of this enemy or something, and I'm slowly beating it. But I don't spoil anything here since I'm already close to zero here. Nope, that's not it. So, is it points? I've noticed if I shoot other stuff, the number goes up again, and sometimes the little number on the left side down uh, goes up with a jingle, so I guess that's my life. But on the other hand, the number doesn't actually go down all the time when I'm dying, so I suppose if I shoot stuff, I can't as easily go game over. And then there is this weird warm shit that's just vomited in my direction and sometimes you'll notice it's really hard to... Well, okay this giant brain is obviously a target that has to be destroyed and this is one of those structures that's actually at the sa on the same plane uh, as you so if you accidentally touch it then it'll drain your energy and you explode like I just demonstrated. Then there we have those things, those centipede warm monsters and they are the most dangerous enemies. Then we have giant butterflies and lots of faces on the ground including, including tentacles, eyes and warm, lots of different mouths vomiting shit in my direction. Then we have these bubbling mass that also has to be destroyed, then, then there are those weird mouths that sometimes you can destroy and sometimes you're just shooting in vain and well let's just say the entire time you see me shooting here I was totally confused and simply didn't know what I was doing. So I resigned myself to simply shooting everything. See those little green things vomiting stuff? Yeah. Looks like background details, but nope, there are targets. And there are the below you, so you can actually fly over them. Oh, and I'm dead again. Weird, at this point I'm starting to think I may have accidentally activated a sheet or something. On the other hand, I really don't want to start this game again from the very beginning. So let's just continue. So, this is essentially the first planet, and we are slowly screwing it from all life. Yeah, again, a face to destroy, and of course, 
A lot of bullshit hits me from all directions and I explode. Yeah. Just destroy everything. Uh, and wow, that's a lot of butterflies. And then I guess we initial notice I apparently got some kind of power up on Hey oh no. Oh, oh wow. And then I don't know what that what it is, but my the arbitrary number goes down, so I guess it's uh, not good to shoot it. And there's still this stuff to shoot. And wow. Oh you think this is that's another another face on. No, isn't it? Holy shit. Holy shit. So while I'm genociding those um, things, creatures, parts of a giant overmind, who knows. Let's just say I genocide things, so... First, I didn't actually want to um, let's play this game, I just found it purely on accident while searching for a game I remembered from my childhood, I think I mentioned this already in this game, uh, literally, literally the only thing I remembered it was on a home computer like the Amiga or the Commodore C64 and it was all in green on green and there was some kind of boss that looked like a fichette made of trash and this is literally everything I remember so I, I re remember that there was this weird uh, air type clone called Katakis and I thought Hmm, maybe this is what I search. And hey, I had an Amiga at one point, so maybe it's Katakis on the Amiga. So I looked up Amiga games, and well, Katakis wasn't what I remembered, so I randomly looked at other games, and well, then I found this. And the uh, really fancy intro sequence then hooked me, and here I am, shooting at green shit turning it in brown shit. Also, we're destroying plants. Um, okay, it's a, and now it's not really plants, it's part of this weird planetary creature we're supposed to any eliminate, annihilate, destroy. So, another thing to remember is if you want to play this game for yourself, there is no time where you are actually invincible, so all this shit hitting me, everything does damage. Sometimes sometimes you can get literally wallied off the field by an enemy salvo from hitting you from all sides and doing instant death damage. Or see these, those things that just passed through me, every single one of them damaged me and so I died in one hit. And then as this blue things are those meteorites? Well, more faces to destroy. And really, at this time, I was even more confused since I started to fear that I actually really had to destroy every single living thing on this map. And I got a bit scared since my hand started to hurt from hammering the fire button like a maniac. But there is actually a surprise. You just have to destroy just enough of all this mm, weird shit. And then it goes finally on. So this time the arbitrary number get oh, oh, a giant bug, yeah. So now everything looks like we are on Mars. So I guess the planet is dying. And we are fighting this giant bug. Apparently some kind of defense mechanism. And it kills me again, and again, and again. So, the strategy to fight this thing is essentially running away, shooting a few times, and then running away again. Do not try to do this. Do not try to just wait around and fire, because this bug thing is really fucking fast. If you just wait around, then it comes really close, touches you, and then you die instantly. 
so run away, shoot a few times and run. Something I did. Well, let's just say I demonstrate how you're not supposed to fight this thing. Also, there are still a lot of enemies around us, weirdly enough. But let's just hope... yeah, I won. Truth be told... Wait... You rescued zero... I was supposed to rescue something? Oh, oh man, I didn't even notice that the first time around. And yeah, thanks for spawning me inside an enemy, and thanks for showing me the password for 5 seconds. Wow, if you were playing this back in the day, I really hope you were prepared with something to hide, because this was just... Wow. Okay, this is too much, but let's see how far I can get into the game before I'm too frustrated to continue. Holy shit. So, the important thing is... Uh -huh. Again with the faces? Okay. Okay. Just remember, run away from everything, park yourself in an empty space, and then systematically slaughter everything. Hey, I got an extra life? Wow. That means I have five lives now. Yeah, I guess I had... Wow, I think I'm up to 50 game overs already. Well, Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, this was something. I have to confess, even though I was utterly baffled and confused the entire time I was playing this, and it was fun, I guess. So, I'll try my hand at the other planets infested by the Onko block and try to score them clean, like the genocidal maniac that I am. So. This was Libluini, until next time.